During the election, I was being overwhelmed by my opponent's campaign. I had limited resources, but I had my creativity, my networks, an inspiring vision, and a great idea. Working with One Minute Briefs, a creative community, I would crowdsource my creative brief, offer a £50 book token prize, provide a chance for young creative talent to show off their talent for creative ideas, designs, and artwork. However, supporters of my opponent didn't like what I was doing and complained to the election returning officer that it was advertising. My opponent, Jason McKenzie, was not involved in this decision. I argued it wasn't advertising. I was not paying for media space or paying for tweets. It was a good example of creative PR. It was innovative crowdsourcing design and creative ideas. It wasn't even cash, only a £50 book token prize. No one taking part was a CIPR member, so I wasn't offering an inducement to vote. Just over 90 minutes after I responded to the returning officer explaining my actions, I received an email telling me I was disqualified. They claimed I'd broken the rules on, quote, paying for advertising, unquote. Yet I could appeal and the election could carry on. Even if I won the election, I could have been later judged to be disqualified. I felt the only honourable thing to do was to withdraw, to stand down from the election. Later that evening, rereading the notice of disqualification, did I spot something odd. The returning officer was making specific references to rules which are different to the rules I was reading. Only then did I discover the CIPR website had two different sets of rules and regulations. I'd be using one set and my opponent along with the CIPR the other. I believe there's a way forward. When a CIPR can show positive action, learn from the experience and grow and be better. It would enable us to learn the lessons from this episode, do the right thing to create a better future. I do hope we can all go forward, and a big thank you to all the people who did vote for me. I've learned a lot from this experience, learned who my true friends are, and made many new ones. In the middle of it all, become a granddad. We all need to learn from our experiences, grow, and create a better world for future generations.